Dude, how do I follow up the greatest video of all time? <laughs> Everybody and their parents asked me to run it back, so here I am. If you missed the last video, let me sum it up. I was frustrated. Ronnie2k is only listening to people outside the community. So I said, I'm done being inside the community. I requested the help of people outside the community to get what I want done to NBA 2K20. And we made some positive changes in the last video. I'll tell you that. Hey, Ronnie2k. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar here. One of my NBA 2K fans, Beamstar, wants private parks so he can play against his boys without being distracted by NBA 2K. Get with it. Take care. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, these videos are expensive. <laughs> Hold on, what's that say? Subscribe to the channel and drop a like. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, you know when you think of an idea and it's so crazy, you just have to laugh about it? Forgive me for this one, y'all. So I hit up Brett the Hitman Hart, a legend in the WWE. I used to watch, Back when I used to watch WWE, he was my guy. So I hit him up, I said, hey, Hitman Heart, huge fan. I play a lot of NBA 2K and WWE 2K. I was wondering if you could send a message to Ronnie 2K asking to incorporate more physical contact in 2K like in WWE. Would be hilarious to add an uppercut flagrant to animation. Ha. Oh my God. All right, this is not even for the community. In fact, the community would hate this idea. Good thing it's never gonna happen. I just wanna hear him say it. 2K would never risk their E for everyone rating. Unless, of course, they're dropping an unskippable ad on my team. <laughs> All right, so after the last video, somebody clipped the moment where Brian Scalabrini was asking Ronnie 2K to reduce Devin Booker's ratings because he never wins. Fair point. And people really tried to start drama on Twitter, and they did because Devin Booker responded. He quote tweeted saying, White Mamba, all love regardless what he said. Fist emoji, pray emoji. And so I had to defend my guy. Brian Scalabrini was trying to help the community. I said, I don't think he meant it like that. And I responded immediately because it came on my radar. And then companies like The Score tried to pick it up and start a whole bunch of shenanigans. It didn't work. These guys helping the community right now, we need to protect them at all costs. I made that clear. I said, nah, 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 no Scalabrini slander tolerated. We can't do it. We've tried. They're helping us make 2K20 great. Y'all better cut it out. All right, so it didn't end there. Uh, apparently, Ryan Hollins didn't like the joke I made in my last video. Listen, he's an analyst now. You probably seen him on TV, right? You probably seen him in the NBA hooping, putting up buckets. What why, you, why you what laughing, you, bro? Why are you, you, why you, why you no, laughing, bro? It was you why are you laughing? Me. You, you laugh really, right there. Stop. No, why are you laughing? I'm out of here, bro. You're trying to me up. <laughs> <laughs> and he responded on Twitter saying, call me Agent 00, easy bruh, don't do that. And he left a little gif of him acting like, you know, you like, ah! And I quote tweeted his tweet and said, the 2K community thanks you for your service. <laughs> All right, so that's what happened after the last video. I'm still waiting on Bow Wow, Channing Fry, Spud Webb, and I think one other. Terio, I didn't even see this the first time. I would love to do Marlon Wayans, but $500? That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar money, bro. Are you crazy? Eddie Griffin, you know me as Undercover Brother. You know me from the Mago and Eddie show. You know bro, for Ronnie? What the hell? Here I am trying to see if I can enlist the help of Eddie Griffin. Who the hell asked Ronnie? Hold on. Ronnie, what's up, man? The boss lady wanted to wish you a happy belated. Oh, that's just a birthday. I thought someone beat me to the punch. <laughs> Boom. All right. Hey, Eddie. Huge fan. I work for a small development company. We're struggling right now. We're pretty understaffed. Can you make a video asking my boss, Ronald, to hire more developers so we can continue doing what we love? Create video games. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if this happens, then nothing else matters. It will solve all of our problems. Oh my God, why is Chris D'Elia $50,000? Why, why does that exist? I ain't doing for less than 1K. I'd make it more, but Cameo doesn't allow me to do it. That's a little bit more than 1,000 there, Chris. You can ask an animal to say something? <laughs> what am I looking at right now? Flavor Flav takes too long. Five hours? Hey, yo, check one, two. This is Flavor Flav for Michelle. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to <laughs> That is the greatest thing ever. Yes, I will do that. Hey, Flavor Flav, I'm a massive fan, so. I'm a huge NBA 2K fan and I was hoping you could send a message to developer Ronnie 2K 
asking for a better reward and a ranking system. I love to play video games that reward good plays and teamwork. Really appreciate it. What? So they're gonna have a ranked mode in NBA 2K20. Guaranteed, confirmed, 100% fat. And on top of that, they're gonna have a better rep system that rewards actual skill and not time played on my career. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's Cali Muscle, baby. Ooh, got doggy. Look at them guns. Hey, Cali, huge fan. I love to play NBA 2K all the time, but one thing I think it's missing is different body styles. I'd love to play the game with a massive bodybuilder physique. Can you ask Ronnie 2K if he could add different body styles in 2K20? Yo, it'd be dope. You have a little scrawny guy. He could be the sharpshooter. You have super duper built. He could be the post scorer. And it's the perfect person to ask for a thing like this. And may I just say, at $40, quite the bargain. Hey, yo, check this out. This is Ice-T representing on this new situation called Cameo. And I send a shout out to one of your good friends, or I tell one of your enemies you don't give a f about them. I have a quite a few enemies, man. Hold on, bro. Ice-T, this might be the one right here. All right, I really want to drill this point home, and I don't know who else is going to do it better than Ice-T. Hey, Ice-T. I'm a huge fan. I work at a small video development company. I regularly get overworked and we're pretty understaffed. I'm done, nothing changes here. I'm quitting next week. Can you send my boss Strauss a message telling him to step it up? Every problem with the game can be solved if there were more developers on the team. When Fortnite started, it had 200 devs. And when it blew up, they realized it required more resources to keep it flourishing. So now have a thousand people you see how that works if this doesn't work i don't know what will hopefully he doesn't <laughs> oh it's your boy d1 and i'm excited to be on cameo do y'all know who d1 is i can't play his music because it's gonna copyright the video all right this is gonna tie in trust me <laughs> all right one of his most popular songs spend it has the lyric spend a check and get it right back he's saying invest in yourself invest in your community how can you not agree with that message so i'm gonna just hit him up and see if he can help ronnie understand what he understood in this song <laughs> hi d1 i'm a huge fan i play a lot of nba 2k and i know they make bank i just wish they would spend some of that money to make the game a lot better can you send a message to strauss 2k asking if he could spend that check on making the game the best what that's a little corny but I think it helped get the, uh. Oh my God, I got a brilliant one. And how have y'all not dropped a like yet? Ah, gotta put in the plug. Hey, baby. I'm unfortunately not a huge fan. The characters ran out, but I do love your game, my guy. I play a ton of NBA 2K and for some reason, every player can accurately complete a cross court pass out of a jump shot. That stuff should be reserved for great passers like you. Can you ask Ronnie 2K to make the passing attributes matter in 2K20? I'm not gonna lie, that's a small one, but it's one that's conveniently gotten worse in every iteration of 2K. Why does that exist? No, nobody should be passing out of shots that accurately. Folks would be bending their spine to make the pass. They didn't say which kind of Jordan he was. He could have been Michael Jordan. I got excited and I looked up and it was Jordan Clarkson. <laughs> that's messed up, yo. You shouldn't be doing that to people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just let this sit. I'll be back in a few days and hopefully I'll get responses from everybody that I sent money to to help make 2K20 great again. We're back, part two of my favorite kind of videos, the ones where I spend money doing stupid things for enjoyment. Um, so Davis, I went a little OD this time and I got some responses from most of the people. Jesus, that's your intro to your video? Remember, I already recorded the first half. Okay, good. You okay? Like yeah, you, you there? Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Okay, okay. So the fedoras might be weighing your head down. Yeah, low. you're right, Loki. Okay, all right. Okay, I just lost these. Bro, things. what on, man? Beamstar might be pissed. Oh. oh. Okay, I thought I was gonna mess What's with. What's wrong with you? All right, let's get that Levar ball. Oh, never mind. No, that's that's spot. <laughs> Yo, I can't tell. Yo, cut. Yo, my Damn, vision. Is Yo, cut that, that out. Cut that out. How? My vision is a little bit off right now. Let's get okay, it. Okay, all right. All right. Yo, why? That's what it was. Your vision? Yeah. All right, okay. Let's get it. Hey, Ronnie, it's Spud Webb. 1986 slam dunk champ. Mm. Facts, ATO. I love when you play with the game, the NBA game, play with us guys. We'll give the big guys a hard time. All right? Regardless of our attributes, we still can get it done. The NBA 2K 
Show some love to the smaller, quicker players. Slam dunk champ out. Mm, mm, just like that. I don't think I've ever heard more facts. They don't show any love to guards. And like I said, centers and guards move at the same speed. Yes. Ronnie, are you listening? I think he should be listening. That's Spud Webb talking right there. It wasn't me asking for that. Spud Webb, one of the greatest dunkers in NBA history, right? Uh, from ATL too. And he's you from got, ATL? Yeah, you gotta represent. And you thought that was LeVar. No, I... Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. I, I literally couldn't tip. My eyes were adjusted. <laughs> okay, your eyes are yes. adjusted now yes. and you can see clearly. Indeed. I could tell he's never played a 2K game in his life. <laughs> Lucky. But yeah. thank you for your help, Spud Webb. Hey, we appreciate you, that, man. So D1's a rapper and he has this popular song called Spend That Check. Mm. You know what I mean? So I hit him up. Oh, I already know where this is going. Spin the, the check on the dev team. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna just let you hear it, man. Okay. Rouse, what up, bro? Hey, this your boy D1. <laughs> this on behalf of my man Beamstar. Mm. So telling me that they really, really are looking forward to you just making NBA 2K better. They want some improvements, bro. They say they feel in the game, but they want it to be better moving mm -hmm. forward, bro. So can you do that for the people? Somebody literally hit me up. My man Beamstar ah! hit me up and said, D, can you send a message to Strauss 2K on my behalf? So here it is. Hey, 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 listen. Now you got NBA legends saying it and you have rappers saying it. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say, though? What do you mean what he said? He said, take the money you made from the game mm -hmm. and spend it on the game. Spend it. We don't have to put in the pool. You can put some money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Make some profit. But not all of it. But you need to spend some on the game. And that he's, he, that's all he's saying right there. But I remember when I went to get my face scan last year, the game was there. Mm -hmm. So like Ronnie must listen to rap. So he probably knows who D1 is. You know it's a mean? fact, Ronnie is in tune with the hip hop culture. I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> okay, um, this oh, is my. Cali Muscle. You probably know him. I don't. Why would I know him? I don't know. Maybe you watch fitness videos. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Insert the outfit. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> okay, yeah, he makes a lot of fitness videos. He's okay. D's, mm -hmm. so. I'm a eight. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie, you the developer of 2K? Mm. Uh -huh. well, I'm Kali Muscle, man. And I'm here to say with my boy Beamstar that you need some jack cats up in there, man. Mm. You need some different body types Try like this. Game. Playing some hoops, dunking. Because I'm, guess what? I'm 5'10 and I could dunk. Huh? Spud Webb could dunk. Who, uh, Muggsy Bowles was able to dunk. You know what I'm saying? You got to get some different body styles up in there, man, to make it. See that? You got to get stuff like that up in there, man. That's a you know fact. what I'm saying? Like it's this right so here up in there. You know, and this just this is just a word on the street from the 2K community <laughs> that you got to get different body styles. You got to get somebody up in there like me talking crap in the playground. Mm. You know, because I play it too sometimes. Oh, <laughs> you okay, know what I'm saying? If y'all need a superstar to come to 2K, I do it. You know, me and my boy Beamstar, we will do it. <laughs> my boy so it's that Ronnie 2K. Get different physique styles up in there, man. Facts. I'm going to have to wrap these biceps around your neck, boy. <laughs> yeah, he destroyed him. <laughs> no. He destroyed him at the <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> yo, I'm going to be like, yo, oh, solid oh message. Yo, you heard it here first. Even folks in the fitness community are saying they want different body styles. You want to be scrawny? You want to be Jack? We need to have that option. You see how DC is, Davis? They should have the, the skinny, middle, the strong, and then they should have the, the ripped. That Just like that. So I'm going to preface this one. Grant Cardone, I hit him up in my last video. If you missed it, you got to go watch that one. But he finally responded. So I was like, hey, let's just put him in this video. So I basically asked Grant Cardone, hey, I'm a video game publishing company. And we tried to introduce microtransactions. And we're getting a lot of pushback. What do you think we should do? It's gonna be good. So, and this is coming from a real estate agent, a guy who gives and dishes a lot of advice online. Probably so, mad successful too. Uh, mad successful. He's okay. worth millions and millions of dollars. Millions. So I, I wonder what he's gonna say about this microtransaction situation. Hey, Beamster. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. No problem. Um, and good luck. Good luck on uh, on uh, five years. What is? Five years persisting. Five years? I don't know what it's saying. And having all the success you're having. Mm -hmm. uh, monetize the game, pal. Monetize the game Whoa. with those micro transactions. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the fact that you got pushback from your audience just means the audience isn't big enough. Get bigger. Get bigger. Don't worry about it, buddy. Keep, keep pushing. Keep finding the audience. Keep pushing out what you're doing, the value add proposition, what you have to offer, how it's so good. Just keep pushing through until you find the right audience. God bless. Be great. Beam star. Burn the footage! Burn the footage! Yo! God 
damn! That's great! He said, he said, just get a bigger audience. <laughs> Those other guys, Yo. find guys that you can take advantage of. Yo, but he's successful, bro. He's just. I asked him that question because I wanted to know what goes on in the mind of a rich person when they want to make more money. Is, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, oh, I'm, I'm letting my heart rate set a little bit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I started to panic when he was talking. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the next one is Flavor Flav. What? Yeah. Flavor Flav. Hey, yo, check one, two. This is Flavor Flav in the building for Ronald. Hey, yo, Ronald, check this out, G. I got a cameo shout out for you. Coming to you by Beamstar, mm. you know what I'm saying? And this is Beamstar's message to you, Ronald. He says, I am a huge NBA 2K fan. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping that you could send a message to develop a Ronnie 2K asking for a better reward and ranking system. I love to play video games that reward good plays and teamwork. So, Ronald, I don't know what that means, you know what I'm saying, for real, because I don't play NBA 2K. You know what I'm saying? But Beamstar does. So, whatever it is that Beamstar wants, Ronald, satisfy my man's needs, you know yeah. what I'm saying, for real. I want you to hold it down and have a good life with your family, your future, and your goals, you know what I'm mm, saying, Ronald, for I like real. That. Positive. This is Flavor Flav in effect. Coming to you, Ronald, by Beamstar, right mm. here on this cameo. Rock the house, Ronald, all right? Yeah, boy. I approve this message. He approved it afterwards, too. What, what, so what were you going for? <laughs> I just want a better rep system. I want a ranked mode. Like, not like, like in 2K17, like not the whole elite. Why go back when you could do better? Okay, so a better version of that. None of this elite. Yeah, pro, no, no, pro, pro road to 99 needs to out of here. Indeed. That's yeah. a fact. But the point remains. I did my best to make 2K20 as great as it can be. I made that first video, bangers. Amazing time. I made the second video, and we stepped up on that. And so at this point, if 2K20 is still trash, then I did all I could. It's true. I tried to help the community where I could, and ladies and gentlemen, it was worth it. Video here, video there, video there, video there. Click one of them, all right? Subscribe for new latency, latency, I'm out. Ha, 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 ha.